Hello guys and welcome to Mr Skates' online music class, week one. Uh, today we're going to be talking about pitch. Uh, pitch is a very important part of music and we're going to look at how we can determine what the pitch of certain things are. Are they high up here? Oh, there's my phone, let's just turn it off. Uh, or are they low down here? Um, so here is an example of a sound um, and I want you to think about how you would describe this sound as in pitch. Is it high up here or is it low down here? Okay, so that was supposed to be a roll of thunder. Let's hear it once more. So do you think that's high up here or do you think it's low down here? So the answer is it's low, it's low down. You can feel it in your chest, you can feel it in your belly. Now what about this sound effect? What is this? Is this high or is this low? So this is birds tweeting in the trees. So did you think that was high or did you think that was low? That's right, the answer is high. The birds tweet high, a high pitch. So if I was to sing, and you all know that I can sing very badly, um, if I was to sing, do you think I would sing in a higher voice or a lower voice than say, Mrs. Yates? That's right, I would sing in a lower voice because I am a man and Mrs. Yates is a lady and she would sing in a higher voice. Okay, so what about this sound? Listen to this. So this is a flute being played. Um, what do you think the pitch of this piece of music is? And it's not working. Ah! Here we go. Okay, so that was a piece of music called Flight of the Bumblebee and was played on a flute by a man called James Galway, who's from here, Northern Ireland. So do you think that was high up here or do you think it was low down here? That is correct. The answer is it was high. So we're going to listen to one more example um, and then I'm going to play some notes on a piano and I want you to say whether you think they are high in pitch or low in pitch. Okay, so here is our last sound example. Here it comes. Okay, so that was a foghorn of a ferry boat. So do you think it was low, low down deep? There it is again. Or do you think it was high up here? Which one do you think? Low down here or high up here? That is correct. The answer is it was low. Okay, so we're going to hear some piano pieces or piano notes and I want you to decide whether or not you think they are low down, low down in your belly or whether they're way up high like the birds singing in the trees. Here they come. Okay guys, so we're here at the piano um, and I'm going to play you some examples um, or some pieces of music uh, or some notes, rather, to start off with. Uh, and I want you to tell me um, whether or not you think the uh, p the notes are high, as we talked about, high in pitch up here, or are they down low? Okay, so this is the first one. Here it is again. So what do you think? Do you think that's high, or do you think that's low? Low is the correct answer because it was way down deep, down in the bottom of the piano. Okay, what about this one? Is that high up here or is that low down here? That's right, it is high. Okay, so have a listen to the next one. Hi or low, what do you think? 50-50, phone a friend, 
The answer is it's high. Okay, here's one more. Is that high or is that low? Here it is again. Correct, the answer is low. What about this one? Is that high or is it low? If you had to sing that note, would that be a high note in your voice? Or would that be a low note in your voice? Okay, so that's quite high. Good. And the last one. What's that one? High or low? And the answer is low. Well done. Okay, so before we go, uh, let's recap. So we've been talking about pitch. So high pitch. Or a low pitch. Okay, and on our voices, we talked about the different voices. So Mrs. Yates and ladies would have quite high pitches in their, when they were singing. And men and boys would have quite low pitches when they're singing. And we listened to other sounds. Uh, so the foghorn was quite low. Uh, the birds singing in the trees tweet, 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 uh, was quite high. And we listened to some notes on the piano. Okay, so the top right of the piano was quite high and down here was quite low. So that was about pitch and how pitch is quite an important part of music. Now, there is a worksheet uh, attached to this video uh, and it's a little bit about pitch. And it's exactly the same. So if it has two notes drawn on the music lines, uh, the staves, so if the note is above, so if one note is here and one note is here, which one is the higher one? Okay, it's this one. And if one note is here, and one note is here, which one is the lower one? This one. Okay, so in the worksheet, uh, there are lots of notes written on music lines, and what you have to do is you have to indicate which note you think is the higher in pitch, so you circle the note, okay? And then on the box below it, you have to say, with an arrow pointing up, is the second note higher than the first note? Or with an arrow pointing down, is the second note lower than the first note? So have a go. A um, little bit of fun. Uh, pitch is very important. Um, and everybody's voice is different. And if you thought that you were getting out of singing this week, I have another thing coming. So I am here at the piano, and we're going to have a little bit of a song together. Uh, it's a song that we were singing up until half term, and it goes a little bit like this. So I expect you all to join in and sing along with me. Or Mrs Swift will be giving you detention. <laughs> Up he come, grooving up slowly. He got Jojo eyeballs. He won. Holy roller. He got hair down to his knees. Got to be a joker. He just do what he please. He wear no shoe shine. He got toe jam football. He got. Monkey finger, he should Coca Cola. He say, I know you, you know me. One thing I can tell you is you gotta be free. Come together right now over me. Come together. That's it for this week's guys. Uh, I'll see you all next week. Oh, there's a dog in the background. Um, stay safe, everybody. Uh, missing you all. See you soon. Cheers.